Hello, John from Bang & Olsen in Manchester. This is a beer play A9 and it's about time we did a video on it. Let's go. So this is the black beer play A9 Mark II and that comes with the black rim around the outside and the standard black cloth cover. And the black one comes with these walnut legs in the box with it. Personal favorite at the moment is the smoked oak finish so you get this gorgeous gold rim. and the smoked oak legs and it's also available in the white back with a silver rim and that one comes with these maple legs in the box and like Beer Play A6 you can get these custom covers from a company called Skinny Play so you can make them stand out as a statement or you can have something that blends into your room. There's uh, Ray Charles looking cool there. And if you want something a bit more subtle, there's all sorts of optional colours available from the b &A website or Skinny Play. I'll put links in the description. Now the covers just peel off or ping off like that. And they're an absolute pain to get back on. So you'll, you'll need about seven hands to do it, as I shall now demonstrate. And hang on. I don't know what you're laughing at, you haven't even got hands. Okay. We're going to do one go now. This is John fitting an A9 cover, folks. Easy. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I'm going to. Oh! oh. Come on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, Ross. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Jerk! <laughs> this is take five, by the way. Yeah. So easy to fit. No, 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 no. I think this is the time to do it now, John. It, oh, oh, this is looking good. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, another inch. No, you! <laughs> oh, nearly swore. Bear in mind, John's a highly scheduled engineer as well. That's right. Fully qualified, Ross. Fully qualified, certified Bang & Olufsen installer. Now, the technique's looking better this time, John. It's look... Ooh. No, Do you no, want no, me no, to no, hold no. it in for you? No, no, that's admitting defeat. That's true. If it takes me three hours, I'm going to get this damn covered. All this for a shot on the camera. Because I'm going to put the skinny plate one back on in a minute. Oh, don't you dare. Yeah! That's how you replace a cover on Beer Play A9. Come on! So if we take a look under the cover, we can see where all the business happens. So over here on each side of the unit we have stereo speakers which consists of two 3-inch mid-range drivers powered by an 80-watt Class D digital amplifier. We have two 1.25-inch tweeters powered by an 80-watt Class D amplifier. And in the back of the unit we have an 8-inch base unit powered by a 160-watt Class D digital amplifier. And the little handle on the back also doubles as a base reflex port. And the mid and treble units are placed at far extremes of the cabinet to give as wide a stereo field as possible. And on the back, similar to Beer Play A6, you can slide your hand over these raised dots here to raise and lower the volume. A tap either side will change tracks and a tap in the middle will activate the unit. It will switch through the multi-room sources or the built-in services like Deezer, TuneIn or Spotify. 
Then we have a hard power button for switching on and off and a button to press and hold for Bluetooth pairing. And inside the connection panel at the back we have our standard power socket here. We have a hardwired Ethernet socket should you want to use a wired connection or a power line adapter rather than the wireless. And then at the top here we have an RCA phono line in from another audio source. USB for charging your device or for service use and our usual position switch so you set this to free wall or corner depending on its position in the room uh, in relation to the walls in the house so it tailors the sound depending on its position and then we have a little pinhole there for factory reset. As with all the other Beolink multi-room products you can use the uh, Bio Music app on Android or iOS to control it. So you can play music, you can control the volume, uh, and you can control the multi room experience. And if you want to control the multi room experience from your device, you just flip it into landscape, you touch which music you want to start, and then tap which room you want to join in the experience. Now sound is dealt with in the usual bang and awesome way and this thing is an absolute masterpiece not just in terms of design but sound performance as well. Now Beer Play A9 will fill even the biggest rooms absolutely effortlessly. It doesn't seem to matter what kind of music you play on it, it just laps it up, it's got fantastic bass control, it's deep, it's, oh, it's, like I said, it's just a masterpiece. So there we go, Beoplay A9 Mark II, it's an absolute stonking product, it sounds amazing like you wouldn't believe, it'll fill a big room, you can tailor it to a smaller room with a position switch. It's got all the connections and connectivity that you'd ever need, and it's part of the multi-room family as well. So if you want a simple standalone Bluetooth speaker, it'll do the job. If you want to join it into a more complex multi-room system, again, absolutely perfect. And I must say you get a surprising stereo image uh, from it. I mean, I think the only way you could better A9 is with an, an actual pair of hi-fi speakers, uh, something like the BLAB 20s or the BLAB 17s, 18s, uh, because that will obviously give you a, a wider stereo image. But it's actually quite impressive because they've placed the speakers at further ends of the cabinet and there's all sorts of clever digital sound processing going on. It's not too shabby. So that's it. Any questions, just leave me a comment down below and uh, you'll see me in the next video.